I started the violin when I was five. Um, I don't come from a musical family. My mom majored in art and um, my dad is a businessman. Uh, but I remember that my mom took me to an instrument shop when I was five and um, somehow I just picked a violin. I remember hearing classical music uh, at home even before I started playing the violin, there were recordings, you know, 10 or 100 best classical music pieces, recordings like that. Um, so I was familiar with, you know, what classical music sounded like. Um, and when I started playing the violin at five, I had a terrific teacher who uh, was very kind and who kept my interest going very smoothly. So I, I just fell in love and I, was curious about music in general, and I think it just naturally developed into a more serious thing. The Nielsen Concerto I chose because I wanted to challenge myself. When I saw the concerto on the list, along with Brahms, Beethoven, Britain, I was wondering which other competitions would have this concerto on the list, you know. I became acquainted with this concerto when I was seven, actually. I heard the recording of Menuhin playing it. I would listen to it in the car, you know, when I go to a lesson or visiting my grandparents in Korea. I would put it on in my car and I listened to it so much that there is a part in the third movement that got scratched out. And I remember exactly what those moments are. Well, Mr. Young, you are living now in Berlin. Could you tell us what do you do when you are not playing the violin? What kind of free times do you have? I moved to Berlin about two years ago, and I'm still exploring. This is the first time I'm living in Europe. I was living in America for six years before. So I'm fascinated by uh, just observing, you know, what, what Berlin can offer. And uh, yeah, so I would take long walks without setting a destination. Uh, I often listen to music while walking. Sometimes, you know, some interesting thoughts pop into my head or some, some melodies, then I, I write those things on my small notebook. And um, I, I like solving Rubik's Cube. That's my other hobby. Uh, I've been doing it for many years. And hanging out with friends, the things that everybody else does. <laughs> you know, I heard the Sibelius Concerto for the first time when I heard the Nielsen Concerto for the first time because those two concertos were in the same recording, in that Menuhin recording. So I, I must have been six or seven. By that time, I, I was probably in Suzuki 3. You know, I, I was not, it wasn't sure if I was gonna become a, a professional violinist at all. But something was really captivating in Sibelius' concerto. Even at that age, I found it really modern and something weirdly attractive about the, the sonorities and the form and everything was kind of new. And of course, I thought it was a very difficult piece and I couldn't fathom myself playing it. And I think I probably bought the score and practiced it for the first time when I was 13 or 14, maybe even later. It came um, much later than other concertos. Since then, it has been a developing relationship. It's really fascinating to see his, his markings and his expressions, and there's something so origi original and unique about the concerto. And I think it's, it's a, it's a never-ending relationship that'll keep deepening. <laughs>